Okay, so I'm back here. And so you've seen all the crazy stuff. First, they tried to burn those uh, PVC pipe, plumbing PVC pipe installation. They tried to burn them so they can use that uh, loophole into the building. And I think they were having difficulty with that, so they have to go and break through that, uh, that burger proof in the washroom. Actually, because that one, it's, it's, it's isn't plastered, so it was easy for them to, to remove it or to break through it. Okay, so now the solution. Four men listening to me. You are making our work difficult. Some, you know, we are on the field. We know what is going on. This particular project, before the electrical wiring, I warned them, I talked to, I spoke to them severally on the issue of security. I told them, yes, you have, uh, you have, uh, you have secured the place with bugger proof and uh, doors and stuff. But the least thing, the least thing, I cited uh, so many examples for them, giving them examples of where I've seen where they have, they were well secured, but the cables uh, got stolen in the end because those thieves, I don't know. They are hungry to, to, to steal your cable. So as far as there is no one present at the site or in the building, they will come and take it. I've seen, I've seen, uh, I've seen videos of uh, uh, buildings or houses with uh, even uh, power connected, electricity connected, live electricity, electricity connected. And these thieves, these thieves were able to break through it. They were, they were able to cut all the cables. They were able to disconnect the power from the uh, energy meter. Then they, they stole all the cables. I cited all these examples for them, but they told me to go ahead with it. So I, at that point, I, I don't have an, an option to go ahead with it. So. We came to do the electrical wiring. It took some very long time. I think they kept on spying. They kept on spying. They kept on spying because at that time, the POP guys were here working and probably they were not able to come around to steal those cables. But as soon as the POP people left here for a different site, they came in to steal majority of the cable actually at that time it was 2.5 millimeter square and 4 millimeter square that they were able to steal and some few 1.5 millimeter square cable and this pressure was shifted to us we have to come again and do a rewiring sometimes looking at the situation how are you even able to to charge again or that maybe probably you might take his transportation something to buy food for your workers you see and this is a foreman that the second time that we were coming here i spoke to him i even came to the sites made a visibility study i told i told him get someone to stay here now i made a recommendation that the only solution is to get someone to stay here or maybe probably you have cameras around they were able to fix one camera but they actually fixed it at the wrong place it's a solar powered uh, cctv camera and they fixed it at, at a very bad place so it's not getting uh, it's not getting uh, sunlight or uh, any any light any any it's it's not really exposed to the uh, light to receive sunshine to be able to charge and so that the camera is it's not working it's just they're not working so this recent one is just a month ago and the camera is there because it's not working 
it couldn't uh, capture these thieves who came in here. That is the most painful part. That is what is really eating me up. And I'm really upset with this for her because you came to fix this. I even personally told him, take this, uh, take this camera from where you have positioned it and put it at a proper place where it will receive uh, sunlight. Okay, so I'm going to show you where the camera is. So this is where the camera is. You see, it is not able to receive uh, sunlight. You see, they were supposed to put it probably on the blue fisher board. That, that way it will be able to receive sunlight. So it will be able to, uh, to, to charge and power the camera. But he wouldn't listen. That is over a month ago. And you played with this thing until they have come to pull all the cables again. And uh, when I assess it, it's over three calls. And that's over 1,000 Ghana cities. No, no, that's almost 1,500 Ghana cities because we are using tropical cables here. And these tropical cables are really expensive. So that's over let's say approximately 1500 Ghana cities they have come to pull it and you have fixed the camera there the camera isn't functioning well we've told you over a month ago you wouldn't fix it all because it's not your money you see so for men listening to us when we make recommendation sometimes it's not every recommendation that you will take it but when it's it's about our work, we do the work, we know the things that happen at sites, we know it. So when we recommend that uh, when we are coming to do wiring and we recommend you get someone to stay there or to fix some appropriate stuff, listen to us because we know what we talk about. So there's the second time wiring. They have come to take it. We are doing it for the third time. This time around, I was I, I actually I am preparing to leave, but he 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 has given me the order to do it again, so I'll do it. Actually, I have informed the owner. So now whatever happens, that is that will be my back is then because I have well informed them. Okay, so the tip is before before you do your electrical wiring the first thing is if it's a very uh it's a very far place or if uh, it's in a new site the thing is get someone there are so many people looking for though yes i i understand the argument that some of these people these quarters or caretakers when they take over they mess up but there are still there are people you come from a town especially those of us who come from, let's say, smaller towns like villages or something like that. There are a bunch of people who have completed junior high school. They don't have anything doing. So you can get these people to come and stay there. You can pay them because when I look at the money that people spend on cable or wiring and people come and steal it, when you employ someone paying them, 400 500 a month is nothing compared to the damage that they will do to your to your facility so i will recommend first thing is if you'll be able get someone get a good person not anyone get a good person to stay at the site and the second thing is make use of uh, probably uh, solar power CCTV camera but fix it at a good place so it will receive enough sunlight to be able to charge and function properly now don't rely only on i've fixed doors i've fixed uh bug approves and stuff like that no they can still break i've seen one that uh everything was secure the door there was no there was no uh no uh visible uh loophole but they were able to remove some blocks they were able to open the sliding window and they were able to uh chisel the bugger proof and they were able to go in there to steal all the cables so remember before 
you do an electrical wiring make sure to get first and get someone to stay there or to make use of a solar powered cctv camera thank you